Hello everyone, I'm Farmer Sim, welcome back to Court Farms Country Park and episode 63 of the Let's Play series. Hope you're all doing very well and having a lovely day. So, all the mulching is finally done. I've caught up with myself, all of the fields done. So, everything's ready to receive a new drilling of crops. But what crops are we going to do? Well, as usual, while I've been pottering around with the mulcher here for the last couple of hours, I started this uh, job at uh, half past eight this morning. Now 20 past 1, so halfway through the day already, but I've been having a good think, as I like to do while I'm uh, aimlessly driving around. And I think I am going to have a little bit of a change of direction as to what I've normally done. Now, in the past, obviously, with all the fields that we've had, I have always tried to keep a bit of variation going on, and essentially we've had a pretty much one of everything when it comes to the cereal crops, or any of the crops for that matter. I've always tried to keep a bit of uh, variety um, and have a bit of everything. So if we go into the menus here and I go to the growth, there you see crop types, obviously we've got wheat, rye, barley, linseed, oats. I think that was either wheat, or, uh, wheat uh, barley or rye again. Uh, sunflowers. I can't remember what that one is. What was that? Oh, that was corn. Um, soybeans, canola, and obviously grass. Obviously to keep the map nice and colourful, but also, you know, as I say, for a bit of variety when it comes to harvest time. But as we progress through the years on the farm, it's all about the money, isn't it, at the end of the day? It is all about the money. That's what farmers do it for. That's what we all do it for. So, thinking about the money, and what is clearly making us the best money at the minute is silage. It's just crazy. It really is. Um, as we ticked over from uh, from 12 to 1 o'clock, we made £8,127 on the hour from the BGA, which is crazy money. Um, again, if we do the basic mathematics, if that was running at 24 hours, that's almost £200,000 in 24 hours. Again, on a basic 30-day month, that's £5.8 million. So the numbers could be astronomically crazy. So I'd like to try, if I can, to... Obviously, I don't think I'm necessarily going to achieve those uh, crazy numbers, but 
it's worth a shot. We've got the land to do it. We've got the machinery. We've got the uh, the tools, the BGA. We've got the bunkers um, to do it. But regarding the bunker, in fact, let me just take you for a trip. Um, over here, as you'll see in the distance there, we now have another bunker down. Those of you who watched, I think, it was it the last episode, I think, uh, where I had a little bit of a misdemeanor with 50-odd thousand litres of silage in the previous bunker that kind of got stuck uh, in the back of the bunker here. Um, I don't know why that had happened. I'm, I'm assuming it was something to do with that particular mod. Uh, so I had, as soon as I'd seen that, I knew that I was going to be replacing the bunker. So Lancy Boy to the rescue. Here is, he, he, there was a pack of uh, his bunkers here that came with the shed pack. Uh, it comes in two variants. You've got this one here and you've got one with an open-ended shed as well. An open-ended wall, sorry, at the other end so you can drive th from one end to the other through through it. So it uh, did cost £65,000, um, but it's an awesome thing. I do hope it works in 100%, like uh, it doesn't lose it. Look, well, obviously I didn't lose any of the silage, did I? Because I'd, obviously the, there are ways around it, but I'd... Uh, you know, I essentially I just landscaped with a large painting tool around the outskirts of the of the previous bunker, removed stuck silage from the bunker and manually easy devved what I had lost into the trailer and put it into the BGA. So I didn't actually lose anything, but obviously just trying to make sure that I don't have to fiddle around with any stuff like that in the future. Hence, I thought, Do you know what, while I've got such a, a well-blessed bank account, I shall place down a really nice one like this. Um and give this one a go but thinking onwards as i say jumping back into the map pda here what i am planning on doing uh so there we go we've got let's have a look now we obviously th these two fields here um are grass they are their first first growth stage sorry uh so i'll be waiting for them for the second growth stage but we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten fields um pretty decent sized fields i'd say so what I plan on do and on doing, sorry, is I'm going to turn maybe four or five this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one to grass. So to, take, to try and take full advantage of the money that we can earn. Now I've got no idea if that's going to be too much or too little, uh, but what I also plan on doing is investing a little bit more money and placing down a couple more bunkers. And I'm going to make try and make even more use of this area here. I'm going to turn this into essentially like a, a bunker of bunkers. I'm, I'm planning on putting potentially another two of these down here. So it's going to be a, a lot, quite a bit of landscaping involved, an investment of about £130,000 um but essentially turn this whole area into a bit bit of a bunker setup so so in total we'll have four bunkers the three that the another two down here plus that one plus the one that we have in the farm over there so four bunkers five fields of grass seven if you include the two that we've got currently growing down there I suppose eight if we include the one over at the spinnery as well but that's in, that's set aside purely for the sheep and the grass over there so uh, so yeah, that's a bit of a plan, it, obviously, because again, I, I made the decision, decision because if I go into the time-saving stock check menu here, and we still have all of the crops in our silo that we harvested in the last harvest. But for example, let's just take the barley. So we, we harvested a field of barley. We've got 38,775 litres of the stuff, and its maximum value is worth just under 15 grand. So, I mean, great, yeah, 15 grand, but I've just made more than half of that in an hour from the BGA because of the of the grass. So even if I just do it for a year in the game, just go all out with the grass and uh, get as much as I can of the silage, get it into the bunker, keeping our, our food mixer topped up, uh, keeping everything topped up, just go, as I say, just dive in with the silage and the grass and uh, see what kind of financial yumminess we can come out with at the end. So that's the idea. I hope you will agree that it's... Well, it's... Uh, it's got to be a financially sensible idea, hasn't it? We've got all the equipment. It'll give the harvester a break for a bit. Now, maybe I maybe I will keep um, a couple of fields for cereal crops, a bit of ar arable. I think I will. The fields that we don't put anything into, put grass into. Again, popping back into the menus here. Now, you'll have to forgive me. I've not, I've not thought deep and hard about this. I've just kind of thought, yeah, do you know what? Let's just do more grass fields. So if I was to put this one, one, two, three, four, five as grass... Maybe even six, I don't know. I've just chosen the biggest fields that I've got at the minute. So that's 57, 
this one here next to the grain mill 110 100 that we've not actually put anything in yet that's a um that was one of our latest acquisitions wasn't it uh field 90 here and potentially field 92 as well just get as much grass into there as possible get it mowed get it ran over with a leveling board to promote the second growth as quickly as possible and just get as much silage in and out of the bunkers as we can so that's the plan hopefully it'll turn out fruitful i'm sure it will <laughs> so with that in mind i am now going to spend let's just drop that down i'm going to spend a few minutes doing one aspect of this game that i absolutely love which is landscaping placing down some buildings and landscaping and uh, creating a nice new oh goodness me sorry everyone my bag of talent clearly has a leak yeah spend a few minutes uh Doing a bit of landscaping, placing down a couple of these bunkers. And try and create a nice area. Because this little grass field, up, this sacrificial field, obviously, there's there's very little going on here now. There's, there's, there's only a small amount of grass here that I can mow. And yes, I suppose I could mow it, but it's neither here nor there, really, considering the quantities that we're going to get in the future from all of this. So, give me a few moments, minutes, potentially, half an hour, possibly. And I'll... Uh, See you shortly. Right, job done. So, I do enjoy myself when I'm getting on the uh, landscaping rain on. It's uh, really good fun. So, I think I have made some pretty good use of what was the sacrificial field. So, this is quite an operation now, I feel. Here we have our two drive-through uh, silage bunkers. Again, part of the same pack from Lancy Boy. I've gone for the drive-through ones at this end instead of the uh, reversing ones, just purely for the purposes that the reversing is a little bit more awkward. Uh, we've still got the reversing one there, of course, but I've created a, literally a in and an out for these two. So they both... Uh, well, I haven't done the auto drive yet, but they can come in either way, but tip in the middle. Come in this way or come out this way and join back up to the existing lane. So that's all good, and I have placed down a little workshop there, just to for the for the sole purposes at the minute of just putting the uh, the leveller in there. But uh, again, you can never have enough workshops, can you? Or sheds or whatever. So I think it looks quite good. Let me know what you think in the comments. And obviously, I had to put a fence up because that HSE would have my uh, guts for garters, wouldn't they? With a big drop like that. So we have a nice little fence just going around the edge here to stop lemmings from falling down. So. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. It looks quite cool. So, anyway, enough of that. We need to get these working, and in order to get these working, we need grass, and in order and to get grass, we need to drill. So, we've got three hours ahead of us before the apparent rain is due to come. So, we're going to jump in the John Deere, we're going to load up the cedar. Uh, and speaking of the cedar, it's the same one, but I've painted it blue again, just because... Um, the matte black was pretty cool, I suppose, but it was a bit gimmicky. Um, and as much as I'm trying to do things within my extremely limited knowledge, trying to do things relatively re uh, realistically, um, there was a level of unrealism to the uh, matte black answer, wasn't there? So as cool as it looked, it's still the same thing. But uh, yeah, I just thought I'd make it look a bit more original <laughs> anyway trying to lower this weight down there we go that's better right so let's get this thing attached don't i get it topped up with some seed i don't actually know how much seed is still in it i haven't looked so let's get the front popper on go let's bring up the heads up display right there's nothing in that let's lift that one up so reverse round connect this thing up now we will be using the seed that we've got in the bags over on the shelves in the shed over there first we'll get that lot gone although i know grass doesn't go too fast does it the seed rate is always a, a standard seed rate well, there we go, 2,700 litres, so let's change that to grass, first of all. There we go, make sure we don't make any mistakes. Let's fold this up. But yeah, I think it does look better in the blue, don't you think? There we go, right. So 
So I'll get this lot uh, filled up. And we will make a start. On, I think we'll go to field 57 over there first, the big one. Right, so, hang on. So, open cover. There we go. I know I could stick the uh, pallet fork on the telehandler, but for now I think we'll just do it this way. It's quicker. Is that all of it? Oh no, that was just one bag, wasn't it? So take a few moments. Let's well stick it all in here, haven't we? And at least we'll know we'll probably have more than enough for all the jobs we want to do, hopefully, fingers crossed. There we go, so 6,974 litres, right, okay. That's probably more than enough for now. Right, fill 57. Let's get drilling. Right, here we are. Fill 57. So this has been already coated with a layer of digestate, I think a couple of episodes ago. So the nitrogen levels should be if popping into the uh, precision farming. Nitrogen levels are roughly, I'd say, somewhere hovering around the 60 to the 100 mark. So for grass, I think we're going to be okay for that. So, let's get drilling.
Right, jobs are good and all done. Grass drilled. I'm really quite looking forward to this, if I'm honest. The grass empire, as it were. So, obviously, the grass needs rolling. As it does post, post seed, it needs rolling. And obviously, we're going to be rolling it again after cutting it to promote the second growth. But what I think I'm going to do, uh, again, in the uh, considering the same mindset as what I've just done down there with the bunkers and investing and getting bigger and bigger, I think I'm going to do the same with my... Uh, my roller um, now we do have we've got the Garenk Pooler I think it's called which is a six meter wide is a weeder with the leveling board and that's the piece of equipment I use to run over the fields of grass after a big after it's been cut for the first time to promote the second growth but it, as I say it's six meters wide and we also have the the PB5 uh, six meter wide field roller as well but obviously the bank balance is reasonable and it's only going to get better and better obviously with our hourly earnings and obviously with Farmani as well in the background still earning away overnight so I think I'm going to invest a little bit more money in a couple more tools so I'm going to get myself uh, going into the menus we've got obviously I'm sure you're all familiar with the base game uh, Dolbo Power Roll 1230 but I have this modded one by Mac Trucker 921 and that allows you to um, equip it as a mulching roller a field roller or a grass roller so I'm going, to, I'm going to get myself one as a field roller, and I'm going to get myself one as a grass roller. Um, I know, I suppose I could just buy one and take it to the workshop every time and just equip it with the different rollers, but I think I'd like to, I think it makes sense just to have one of each, doesn't it? And obviously while the, while the bank balance, yes, it will be, what, 82 grand or 86 grand, I think. No, 84 grand. <laughs> uh, but... I think it would be a wise investment obviously it would give me uh get the jobs done quicker in the field obviously with them being essentially twice as wide as the ones we currently have uh but i am going to be keeping the uh, the garenk pooler because that is also a weeder as well uh so but i'll be doing that shortly what i'm going to do first and foremost is crack on with a bit more grass drilling i'm going to get this one drilled over here and potentially another one um down the road there we'll get one of those drilled as well with grass uh, and I'm going to get those ones done off camera, so I'm, I'll get those done now. And I'll pick you back up when I'm on the way back to the farm. Potentially going down to the shop to uh, do what I like to do and uh, spend a bit of cash. Right, there we go. Drilling done. For now, anyway. So... The rain has just commenced as well, literally about three or four minutes ago, so I was quite lucky with the timing. Literally just halfway around the last headland there. So, uh, But where we've got to now, we have got one, two, three, four new fields of grass drilled. Now, obviously, we've got field 55 and 60 down here, which, as I mentioned before, are currently in their first, first growth stage. So we'll be getting them done uh, in the next episode or so. But we now have several fields to roll as well. Obviously, the ones we've just drilled, one, two, three, four big fields of grass. So, that's excellent. Really chuffed with that. Let's see if this swings around here. Because this big hopper on the front does tend to uh, cause collisions. No, nope, sorted. So, onwards from that now. We uh, have made the purchase of the two new rollers that I'd like. That I've, well, we've got now the, the Dolbos. We've got, the, uh, we've got a field roller and a grass roller. Um, and because I need to get out more, I have painted one in John Deere green and one in Massey Ferguson red. So uh, we're going to go and uh, we're going to set one of these off on auto drive down to the shop, and I'll follow in the other one. We're going to get them both picked up. But first and foremost, we're just going to give the cedar and the tractor a quick clean. The Massey's had a clean there, as you can see in front of us. Uh, but yeah, they've been working hard this afternoon. So even though the rain might help clear them off a bit, because they were looking quite white a few moments ago but yeah we'll give them a rinse off because they deserve it they've been busy the John Deere has today especially been busy for hours but, uh, but yeah also thinking on as I do when I'm in the fields thinking I might uh, might consider placing down purchasing and investing in more cows a nice uh, a nice big English style cow barn wouldn't go amiss I feel I'll, uh, I'll show you in a few seconds yes I know it's going to be 3.3 metres still you don't need to tell me it does annoy me that 
But yeah, right. I'll get this lot cleaned off anyway, and I'll uh, I'll run through the idea that I've got with you before we get down to the shop. So the uh, the next crazy idea I've got is, as I said before, investing in a bit more cows. Now, considering which one of my fields is the smallest, it's this one here by 0 0.02 of a hectare, uh, 1.65 hectares this field is. The next smallest one is that one there next to the lettuce tunnels. And I did, uh, I did like the idea of placing one down in there, but I actually prefer the idea of placing one down in here. So I have downloaded a handful of mods while uh, while those fields have been drilling away. Um, I have been on the mod hub and I've had a look at a few mods. There's one by Missy B, uh, which looks quite uh, quite apt, like it would fit in quite well. Uh, there's also a couple of other ones that I quite like the look of as well. So I haven't got them installed in the game yet. They're just uh, sitting in my folder because I haven't turned the game off and on again to load these new mods on. Uh, but strongly considering it i think it might be a wise another wise investment obviously more cows means more manure more slurry yes they'll take more feeding but i think all in all i think it'd be a good idea to get a proper silage and cow operation going down here on home farm that'd be pretty decent now regarding the other fields um again it's probably easier if i pop into the map pda isn't it but uh, i am going to plan on putting field 90 to grass here as well but field 91 92 109 59 and 58 and possibly 55 and 60 as well i'm still undecided about those but when it comes to the cereal crops i think i'm this year anyway i'm just going to stick to oats because they are the most valuable of the crops when it comes to the per per thousand liters uh essentially the only the only necessity i need from a cereal crop now is straw so i may as well oops what did i do then i may as well consider just planting one crop oat because it's the most valuable like I say and uh, using it for the straw and gaining from gaining financially from it purely because it's the most valuable crop so that's the idea so anyway right anyway let's go and get our two new rollers let's jump in the massey here let's set this one off on auto drive when I know it's at the right point if I do it here it'll just try and turn itself around and get stuck and hit bash into walls so from here, I should be alright. Bring the menus up. Send you to the shop. RBM Agricultural. There we go. Excellent stuff. I'm going to drive this one down and I shall see you down there because hopefully we should get there before they close. And they might stay open for me for a few minutes, I hope. Considering I've just given them 80 odd grand today, I should hope well. Hope so. So. See you down there in a moment. Right, here we are, all hooked up. And as you can see, we've got the uh, the field roller version painted in the Massey Red, connected to the Massey with the Massey number plate, and we've got the grass roller version connected to the John Deere in the John Deere green with the John Deere number plate. Because I'm sat and I need to get out there. <laughs> anyway, right. There we are, so let's get ourselves out of this train, let's get back to the farm and get this lot put away, shall we? Let's roll out. Honestly. I apologise, viewers. <laughs> the level of dad joking, that was quite frankly offensive, wasn't it? Honestly, I should have my tractors confiscated. There we go. Right, let's pop the new rollers in the new shed for now. Because why not? I really quite like it down here, if I'm honest. I think this is going to turn out to be quite a uh, quite a lucrative venture, I hope. So, anyway, I'm going to get myself out of the rain. But yeah, I think uh, I'm going to, I am going to call it here for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. I do hope you have enjoyed this video and uh, found it even remotely fun and interesting. Uh, thank you very much for your time watching the video. As always, if you're new to my channel, you like my content, you like the way I'm doing things, please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining the channel, giving the video a like if you can, if you have liked it, of course. And as always, there are a host of links in the video description below with my Giants Partner promo code. If any of you are in the market for a DLC, a season pass, an add-on, or even the full game itself, and you like the idea of helping out a content creator at the same time, I would be massively appreciative. So thanks again, everyone. Cheers for your time. Take care. And I'll see you in the next video.